Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name's Darren and today we're looking at my top seven YouTube running channels. YouTube is great if you've got something specific to search for like running shoe reviews or maybe GoPro gear, but if you want something with more meaning and a story behind it, daily or weekly running vlogs, maybe a race day series, you're gonna struggle. The recommended videos are pretty terrible and they don't come up in the search engine. Hopefully though, today should help because I've accumulated quite the list of subscriptions over the last three or four years so i'm really hoping you guys can pick one or two of them out before we get started a quick plug for this channel we do race day documentaries and films weekly vlogs at the moment i'm training for the yorkshire three peaks i generally cover trail and ultra running and we delve into the nutritional side of things how best to train and just generally following my journey anyway enough about me let's crack on with my top seven running youtubers These channels will be presented in no specific order. They're certainly not ranked by any means. I love every single one of them. I've taken inspiration from all of them as well. So the first one up is Fod Runner. Stands for Forest of Dean Runner. His name is Andy. He's a lovely guy, always replies to comments, and he's just very, very genuine, offers cracking advice. He's on for a sub 74 minute half marathon, which is insane. And his times have fallen as his popularity on YouTube has grown. I think he's almost up to 13,000 subs, which is cracking from where he came from. I think it was only a couple of years ago, he hadn't even hit a thousand. And he's best known for his weekly training vlogs, where he goes into great detail on each session, how he's feeling. You really do get to follow along with his journey before you reach fever pitch at race day and get to see how all of his training has come together and what the final result is, good or bad. But for me, the best part of Andy's channel has to be his running shoe reviews. He focuses more on road, but he goes into so much depth and detail and he has such a wealth of knowledge as well and he even compares two sometimes even three shoes together to give you an idea of what the best one might be for you as with all of these channels andy's link is down in the description and our next running channel actually collaborates with andy his name's matt but he's better known as the welsh runner you may know him from the london marathon when he sacrificed his own race to help a competitor of the line who bonked became an overnight sensation but his YouTube channel is fantastic for the advice he offers. He's a really good coach, going for a 2.24 marathon next up, and I love his race day vlogs. They're usually more than 20 minutes long, and I just love the way he goes through the process of getting ready for the race and just building that emotion up up until the end result where we get to see how he does. Also, his speed trials are very similar. They're great to watch as well. But he's just an all-round nice guy, just like Andy. Very, very watchable. And I'd highly recommend their collaboration where they faced off in a 5K race. It was quite funny, and it went right down to the wire. Now moving away from road running and even England, we're going to the USA and Ryan Clayton. He's one of my favourite trail and ultra running vloggers. Um, his race day films are amazing. You'd call them more documentaries because they go into 40, 50 minutes sometimes, but just the way you get to follow him through the whole process of getting his kit bags ready to the start line and the race itself. He films the entire thing and it makes for a wonderful watch. I really like his weekly vlogs as well. Um, just the way he films his footage, I take quite a bit of inspiration from that myself. It's high, high quality um, and his reviews look fantastic. He talks an awful lot about the gear he uses, the nutrition he uses as well within every video. So there's always something to take away. And sticking with the US of A for the next running YouTuber, we have Kofuzi. Probably my longest standing subscription. I originally found him through a GoPro review and I love his slow-mo. Those sweeping shots as he's running by the sea are just amazing. I try and take inspiration from that myself, but it's not just in those daily vlogs that the value is. His race day vlogs are cracking as well, and his gear reviews are next to none. Really good running shoe reviews, very good tech reviews. He's very honest, very open, and very trustworthy. And now moving back over the pond to England, we've got Ben Parked. I think he's from Greenwich. I don't know if he's just recently moved, but you're probably all following him anyway. He's got more than 80,000 subscribers, and no wonder he's a 
225 marathon runner, a fantastic coach, and every video offers a great piece of advice. Uh, his partner, Sarah Place, also vlogs. She films quite a bit of it, so it makes for a really good interactive video. The nutritional advice is cracking. I'm on a plant-based diet and I've taken quite a bit from them um, as well. But for me personally, it's those race day documentaries and films that take the bait. I've watched him in the Great North Run with his GoPro, achieve an amazing time, but put us in the center of the race itself. You really get to feel what those city race days are gonna be like. But he also does ultra marathons, so you do get some nice scenic footage as well. And the quality of every video is really high end. In the last couple of years, Ben actually broke his ankle really badly, and it's so inspiring to see him come back from that. Um, he shares his journey, he struggled mentally with that side of things as well. And it's just really nice to have someone be so genuine, honest and open about it. Um, it's very relatable. And the next channel needs no introduction. From the US of A, we've got Seth James Damore. Such an incredible person. He vlogs every single day, runs generally over 100 miles every single week. Where he gets his energy from, I have absolutely no idea, and he's got a huge family as well. But it's the quality of his videos that really stands out. He gets some cracking drone footage, really puts you at the center of his training, and of course, he's an international level runner, so the advice he offers is really, really good. Seth recently run the Pikes Peak Marathon um, and those race day vlogs are really fun to watch but for me the best part of Seth's channel has to be his shoe deal as he calls it and the running shoe matrix which offers us all a cracking view into each and every shoe that's released throughout the year put into different categories so we know exactly where a shoe is best fit into our running shoe rotation. And the final running YouTube channel hasn't quite hit the 10,000 subscriber mark but that does not take away from the quality of the content. It's Ben is running. Ben Felton was a 22 minute park runner, managed to get down to sub 16 minutes. That is unbelievable, and he's done a video all about it. They've got more than 100,000 views, but it's just his daily vlogging style that I like. We got to see one recently from Park Run, where it was in Salisbury, and there's probably only about a third of the video from Park Run itself. The rest was just a nice, easy vlogging style, and the quality of the footage is really good and really watchable. He does workout videos, race day films, and some really good running shoe reviews, so well worth your subscribe. Okay guys, that's my top seven running YouTube channels. Let me know down in the comments who you guys are watching. I'd really like to pick up some more because I can't get enough of the content. Equally, if you've got a channel yourself and you want to promote it, get that down in the comments as well. And if this has helped at all, give us a thumbs up and a like, that'd be much appreciated. I'll catch you guys with the next one. See you later.